Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Peg City Chat with Nat. This is your host, energetic and enthusiastic this morning, <laughs> Natalie Bell. And I'm excited to be chatting with someone today who is a best-selling author. She's a speaker and has been a television host. She is going to talk to us about the great ways we can give gifts to our loved ones. But first, let me tell you a little bit about Jane Buckingham. She is one of America's foremost experts on Generations X, Y, and Z. Hi, Jane. How are you? I'm great, thanks. How are you? I'm fabulous, thank you. You know, I know we're talking about holiday gift giving and everything, but for those that are listening that aren't really sure of who Gen X, Y, and Z are, can you give us a little breakdown about that? Absolutely, and it is definitely a mystery to a lot of people. Um, so Gen X, roughly, and by the way, this is the first time we're sort of defining generations by 15-ish years instead of 20 years, and that's why it's confusing to people. So Gen yeah. X is sort of right now about 35 years old to 50, okay? That's me. <laughs> me too, for the moment. And actually, you stay with your generation, so you will always then be Generation X. Sorry to say it. Okay. Um, then okay. Gen Y is about 20 to 34, and then Gen mm -hmm. V, and we're not really sure what their name's going to be. We're calling them Gen V for Gen Viral, not Gen Virus, Gen Viral. Some people are calling them Gen Z. I don't like that because that assumes, well, then we're done. No more generations. Yeah. Um, and they would be sort of about like 5 to 19. So they're that younger okay. generation. So I'm very, well, I'm a mother of three, and my first two children would be Gen Z. So okay. they're 17 and 14-year-old girls. And then my son is three and a half, so what the heck is he? <laughs> we don't even know. We're going to have to, we're going to have to wait. Because you define a generation by the factors that sort of affect them as they're growing up. So he would be too young for us to know what's going to affect yeah, him. Good. Hopefully good things. Hopefully only good things. Yeah. It's just amazing to hear what you know, what these generations love, what they what their their trends are right now, especially as it relates to gift giving. Mm -hmm. And so that's something that you're working on right now with Westfield. Yes, well, you know, I think one of the universal trends that we see right now is everybody's stressed, everybody's busy, and you know, while the holidays should be about getting together and having fun and relaxing, instead everybody's so crazy, busy, oh my God, I have to get a gift. And so Westfield came up with this idea of the Santa's Perfect Present Finder to sort of help relieve that stress. And so what you do mm -hmm. is you go on to westfield.com slash Santa's dash present dash finder. And you basically, it's fun. You create your letter to Santa and you say, Dear Santa, I'm looking for a present for my teenage daughter and I want to spend under $50 and she likes fashion. And then it will give mm. you ideas of things that she might like. So it might be a Brandy Melville skirt and you say, yes, I think she might like that and it puts it on your list. And it might give you a Lululemon top and you say, no, that's not her. And then it might give you like a faux fur scarf and you go, yeah, she'd like that. So by the end, you wind up with four or five gifts that are on your list. And then you do the same thing for your husband and you wind up with four or five gifts for him and your mother-in-law. So then you can print out or email your list yourself and print them all out and go to the mall and feel more organized, more prepared. You know the stores to go to, you know how much you wanna spend, you come up with creative new ideas. Mm -hmm. And for me anyway, and I, I think Westfield's idea was, you have new ideas, you're more organized, you stay within your budget, you still have that great experience of going to the mall and touching and feeling and maybe finding some other things, but you don't have that panic of, oh, what am I gonna get everyone? And I have no oh, time totally. and no money. Well, and I think, you know, our family, that's something that we always do, especially with teen daughters. It's like, okay, girls, like, what are the things you kind of would like to see this Christmas? Yeah. So we kind of already do that. However, this makes it a little more exciting because it suggests those items for you. And the big piece of this thing that would work really well for me as a mom is the budgeting factor. Come because <laughs> teenage daughters. 
Oh. Uh, yeah, Mom, I want that new Samsung whatever. Oh, really? Okay, well, let me go get another job. Right. And, uh... <laughs> exactly. And maybe hope for that. Or even for the really tricky ones, my husband you know, love him, but he always seems to f buy himself the one thing that he wanted three weeks before Christmas. Or, yeah. so then I have to find something. I found this really great portable grill, not super, super expensive. Luckily, his birthday is in January, so I can do two for one, that I can sort of wheel course now hopefully he won't see this um i can wheel over and so he can sort of hang out with us while he makes us you know hamburgers or my mother-in-law is always i'm always stressed out about what to get her but she's super into the holidays i found this store called lush that i didn't even know about where they have um the 12 days of christmas in like different bath products and so it's perfect for her because she loves to indulge and she loves to relax so it just offers ideas of different things for people who you or like i have girls in my office who i want to get things for under 25 dollars super cute ideas that i just don't have the time to go through all the stores but now i know exactly where to go to get them stuff well i think that's important to note too is that this is local and national uh, retailers or re Westfield is 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 a host of all these retailers, right? So yes. you get that variety. Exactly. They have over 300 centers. There are hundreds of different stores within them. And so this just gives you sort of the breadth of being able to look and see what's available. And then you can go in and find it. And, you know, look, at the end of the day, if you want to buy someone a Westfield gift card, nobody doesn't like that. They can always do that, oh, too. Exactly. But you know, I know that my son is always just saying, just give me a gift card. I'll buy it myself. But I still like to be able to surprise him and get him something and go, I'm a cool mom. I know I know what's hot. Okay, Westfield told me. But I know what's hot, too. I'm on the same page as you. Wow, we're like the same person right, right. now. That's exactly, exactly what I think. Well, I like, yeah, yeah, I know you want some money or a gift card. But, you know, I really want to surprise you and get you something you never thought I would actually need. Because. Right, exactly. Yeah. And, you know, All right. we're busy. So, you know, I, I really want to thank you for taking the time to chat with me today. I know you're a busy, busy woman. And I'm, I just want to ask a question about the Modern Girls Guide because, of course, you are a best-selling author of the Modern Girls Guide to Life. And you're working on something new right now. Oh, gosh, I'm always, I feel like I'm always working on something new. So the Modern Girls Guide to Life just came back out. We did a revised edition. It first came out 10 years ago. And so, you know, so much has changed. The point of that guide was to sort of have great, cool tips and tricks and information. And when we were looking back through it with the publisher, you know, one of the tips was DSL or dial up, which is better for you. And we're like, yeah, okay, that's not super modern. So there was nothing about texting or being online or organic. Um, you know, for young women, can you break up by cell phone, by text? So <laughs> I revised it, and we just put out the new edition, and um, hopefully that's a good gift for some people. Uh, so that just came out. I'm really thrilled about that. And I just hosted a, a show called Job or No Job where we help young people to get a job. Um, so those were two great new projects that I'm really proud of. Um, and mm -hmm. it's always fun to, to try and do new things. So I'm really excited about that. Oh, that's excellent. That's excellent. And thank you know, that's, it's, it's more people like you are needed in the world for our younger generation. I oh know my for my gosh. daughters, they may not listen to me, but they'll listen to you. <laughs> well, and mine won't listen to me, but they'll listen to you. So luckily we, you know, it takes the village, as they say. <laughs> Well, thanks again so much for taking the time today. Thanks for helping us talk about picking that perfect gift this year for the holiday season with Westfield. Really excited to check out Santa's Present Finder. And for those of you that didn't catch it at the beginning, it'll be on the blog post as well and on the podcast notes. But it's westfield.com slash Santa's dash present dash finder. Head on over there, fill out the letter to Santa, Santa choose your, your list of recipients, and get on it. Do your budget. See how much you want to spend. You will be surprised at how many items will get you started for your list this year. So thanks again to Jane Buckingham for us uh, for taking time with us today. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much. It was great chatting. Have an awesome Christmas. You too. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. -bye. Bye.